What is going on, lunatics? When I talk about the Luna Classic ecosystem, you think Luna Classic and you think USTC, but I do want to point out that there's a lot going on in the background that you might not be aware of. You might just be hodling your bag just to wait for Luna Classic price to rip. You might be waiting for USTC to rip. And look, I submitted a, a repeg proposal and we're going to talk about repeg uh, real soon about how to really get this thing going, how to start getting some proposals, how to start making this thing happen. We want to make something happen in this ecosystem. Now, we can't all agree that everything about this ecosystem is right or that every proposal is right. Uh, I continue to tell you that I think that there are bad actors in the arena. They're not nefarious, though. Uh, you know, we just disagree about the way things should be. So uh, I do think that there are some bad people, but there's not nearly as many as I might make it seem, if you will. Um, and I actually have an article that's going to kind of explain some of it to you so that you guys can see and I, I would like you to make decisions based upon facts and not my opinion or not anybody's opinion. I'm going to show you where to go in order to do that. I'm going to make it real simple for you. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. And we're going to revisit some of these websites that we've talked about before. But let me just give you a list. You have Terraport.finance. You have Terra Casino, which is a sponsor of the channel here. You have the Elbun Project. Uh, you have Frag. You have the uh, Galactic Shift uh, and by the way, these are these are videos that we've done so far. You've got Teratritium. Uh, you've got the Lunk Metrics, which we're going to go over today. Uh, you've got food. You've got Air Force Lunk. You've got the Cremation Army, which is also Lenny, by the way, the first meme coin uh, in the Luna Classics place. You got Metagloria. You got um, Garuda. You got Miata. Uh, I think there's one called MBA that's reached out to me. Uh, there's different tokens. And of course, yesterday we went through Terraport.finance and we looked at a bunch of these different tokens. There were tokens that I haven't uh, really addressed yet that are mentioned in there that we're going to get to. Uh, there are different projects and different things that are constantly being developed. Now, there's some proposals out. There's a lot happening in this ecosystem that just doesn't get the proper exposure, but that's what we're working on right now. So if you would stick with me, the important thing here is you you share this content with everybody that you know it'll be posted on twitter it'll be posted on youtube make sure that everybody you know gets to see it because the more people that we attract into this ecosystem the better off everybody is the better your price action is the better your burn metrics are everything looks better when we work as a team so uh i hope that does not fall on deaf ears but let's get into your news right now a lot of wild stuff to go over Chief among those is Terraform creditors say all clear to hire a crypto tracing firm. Crypto tracing firm is now going to look for what happened to all of the money with Terraform Labs. So uh, we'll keep you updated when we get information regarding that. Also, uh, this very interesting article here, and I want to stress this one more time. Guys, when I tell you there's bad actors out here, what I mean is they don't vote in your better interest. Does that make them bad actors? In my opinion, yes. But your opinion might differ from mine. You might just say, well, they're looking out. They're heralds, if you will, um, like uh, like Silver Surfer, for your, uh, for your better interest, if you will. So I don't agree with that, but it's not my job to judge. It's not my job. You know, I, I'm going to tell you what my opinion is, and sometimes I'm going to be judgy. But you have to do your own research and figure this out for yourself. But back to the, the matter at hand. The Terra Luna Classic community has turned down a key proposal to establish a core team to manage all the development on the Terra Luna Classic chain. While the proposal is promising, most members and validators think it lacks details and contradicts the pay per job rule. See this right here, most members and validators. Okay, however, that's not true. That's not true. Again, this is probably Verinder Singh. It sure is. It's, it's the same guy. And I'm pretty sure this is probably one of the validators who happens to have a job at CoinGate because here it is. Um, this is where it's real interesting right now. And I want you guys to see this very specifically. The proposal has received only 38% votes in favor as 55% voted no, along, along with 1% no with veto and 5% abstain. The voter turnout is low, but delegators are voting in favor of the proposal as opposed to validators. Now, let me read that to you one more time. The voter turnout is low, but delegators are voting in favor. You, my friend, are a delegator. 
you're voting for something that you want. You want a team working on your project so that things are happening. Validators, however, the people that you're giving your stake to are voting against your interest. I cannot stress this enough. Individual delegators are voting yes. Validators are voting no. You gave them the power. You have the power to change how this lays itself out. I'm going to show you the votes and how it worked out the cl to close it out. But guys, this is important and we're not taking it serious in my opinion. When I tell you this all the time, you've got to you've got to put you've got to put your stake in with validators who share your beliefs. Now, if your belief is that we shouldn't do it then you're in the right place, but most of you voted yes as delegators and these guys voted no. They said, "You know what? I don't care what your opinion is. I'm going to vote the way I want." Tough shit. And you shouldn't allow that. You should stake with people who agree with what you think. Now, we're going to check some price action here. Um, I, I do have some good news. Not great, but good. So based on a standard FIB retracement, we had this break down, and it broke down to 7026, which is probably a little aggressive, but here's the, the move. We came right back up to the 5.0 level, uh, entered the golden ratio which is between the 786 and 618 right here. So we entered the golden ratio and then we got summarily rejected. This is during that last come up. Uh, and then now we've got this sideways action again at the 0.5 level. I do assume that we're going to have a move up here into this range right here. If you're making a guess, I'm, I'm really kind of guessing at this point because we're at the end of uh, the having to come in very, very soon. I don't know if we're going to trade sideways for a little while. I don't know what's exactly going to happen. Bitcoin is a different animal entirely at this point. There are some things that are going to be positive out here, but you know, again, I, I, I just see this moving to 11,742 pretty soon. USTC, actually the same thing right now. Trading, at, at, it's at the 20, it's at 236, um, which is wild right now. It, it made that move back up to the 5.0. Then it dunked even further down. Again, I just, I just told you, I don't really have a lot of belief in USTC as a performing investment at this point, other than just wild pumps. That wild pump, by the way, probably going to take us up to 2.2 cents. So if you're sitting in right now at 1.7, you know, that's a 30% increase roughly. So uh, you could do worse than getting a 30% rub at some point, but that's no guarantee that this is going to happen. This is you know, this could be because of this exposed weakness, we could see USTC continue its way back down. And I think if you guys remember, not that long ago, I did tell you that I thought it was coming down into this range. When you look at it on the larger time frame, uh, I told you that, you know, this is the, the kind of area that we're in over here and over here. And that, you know, it is entirely possible that we break down at this point to one of these levels, there is that point of control node right there. So there is potentially some more downside available. And then the run back up is going to be a lot more muted because again, at this point, I was looking at it to come up into this range right here to break out of it, but instead it's coming way, way down. And look again, we're the having, so you know we'll see how this breaks out. Now, uh, the other piece is volume wise, 23 million. Uh, people have just tuned out Terra Classic. You are retail and we're tuning out Terra Classic right now. That should tell you something about retail sentiment at this moment, which means that you're rife for manipulation, right? Uh, USTC trading almost as much right now, but down 17% on the day, although 3% up, you know, so uh, a little bit wild what's, what's really happening here. So I would be keeping my eyes on this. I would look for a big USTC reversal, but I would also uh, implore you to understand that when they do happen, they do not get sustained. So uh, that that uh, if you see a nice big move off of a repeg uh, conversation coming out pretty soon, just remember what I said here. OK, um, now let's move on and let's take a quick look here at how do you go about getting your information? How do you go about figuring out? what it is that, that that's happening in your ecosystem and you know i'm going to show you a couple of different places what's old is new again and what's new is old again. well i don't know something like that all right guys first up is lunk dash so here is uh here, here's what happened here and uh if this this does end about three hours from now but here you go this is the proposal that we talked about this is to establish a terra classic team and you can see like this yellow right here means it's going to be a big no all right, who voted yes? Interstellar Lounge, Elbun, Lunk Development Fund, Twin Go, Zero Fees, POS Node, BI Studios, Lunk Forever, 
Uh, who abstained from it? Lunk Station, Steak Bin, Lunk Goblins, TDR, Moon Runners, and Terrarium. And then who voted no? Uh, all nodes, uh, enter stake one. Uh, Jesus is Lord voted twice, you know, because centralization. Uh, and, and by the way, if your complaint is it's going to be too, de it's going to be too centralized. Your complaint is uh, I don't want to vote yes for this because it would create centralization risks. Um, I'm sorry. You have two validators. Why don't you shut up? Luna Classic Labs, Solid Vote, Lunk Swap, Galactic Shift, Community First, Lighthouse Note, Luna Knots, LVS, Moon Rabbit Validator, Validarios, Zero Base, Advow, Classic Notes, Cosmic, Battle Force, Zero Feet, Golden Rush, and then the Modern Joseph Node. Now, if you disagree with that and you voted yes and used your power to vote yes and they voted no on you, change your stake to somebody like one of these guys over here that are doing what you want. Now, if you voted, if you voted no and they voted yes, same thing, same thing. I mean, I'm, you know, I mean, it's not just about um, one way or the other or about my way. Uh, and then the people who abstained, who kind of sat on the side, who have no vested interest in the game, if you will, um, make your decision based on them too. I, mean, I don't know what, you know, I don't, I don't know what their choice is. I don't know, you know, what the, uh, I don't know what their decision-making process is for that. You know what I mean? So uh, maybe they just wanted to stay out of it because they don't care one way or another. And I'm not sure I do either, by the way. That's my opinion. I, I'm not really sure that I do. But coming back over here, uh, first of all, the dashboard. You can see all the information that you need to see, what the latest block is, what the epic is, what the circulating supply is, how much there are in delegations, what's in the community pool, over 5 billion sitting in the community pool right now. Uh, 11 million USTC, by the way. Uh, total supply. It's telling you what the total su supply of each one is. Like, guys, you get all the information that you want or that you need from uh, this. This uh, It's called lunk-dash.com. It tells you everything that you need to know. Uh, pop in some wallets. You can look at the extensions here, and, and you can check out how many wallets there are. You can check out how it's getting information. You can see who the top holders are by wallet. Uh, you can see who the top burners are by wallet. Uh, you can see money flow, delegations, you can see balances, you can see everything that you want to see. Now let's move on. Uh, the important one though, Lunk Metrics. This this Lunk Metrics gives you, the last time we did this, we really talked about burn. 110 billion being burned so far, 575 million over the last seven days. And you can get the top 100 burns, you can get Binance burns, you can get the cremation coin, uh, you can get the DF Lunk protocol. Uh, on the dashboard here, uh, you've got your burn tracker, UST burn, USTC burn tracker, your lunk supply, lunk staking, lunk price, UST price, and validators. And you can explore how to algo trade, how to uh, what happened with the Terra Luna crash, and lunk burn memos. So, uh, but as we scroll down here, of course, if you want to sign up, remember they're also partnered with Weeks. So if you haven't already, sign up down below at Weeks in order to do your trading. Mexc uh, also as well. However, remember Mexc will be KYC officially. June 30th. So uh, you've been notified, you've been warned at this point. So uh, be very careful uh, with that. Uh, also, this kind of gives you kind of the breakdown visually of how much burns are happening. This right here, this is uh, Binance every single time here. By the way, look at how much Binance burned this last time. That was a really big burn on this last April one. So, you know, a significant amount uh, continuing to be burned by uh, Binance every single, uh, and by the way, look at that pocket of activity right there. And you can see this and you can get a feel for what it looks like. This is the market mark, market cap 574 million. Everything that we just talked about, uh, 25.2 million in, in uh, trading volume. And then uh, here we go. This is uh, USDT. This is Lunk with USD, uh, USDT Tether on Binance, what it looks like uh, on one of the DEX tools sort of charts here. Uh, you get an idea of, you know, what I was just saying. You know, um, uh, and by the way, you want to look at it, of course, on the hour uh, when you're looking at it that way. Again, we had this precipitous little drop right here, and then we just kind of fell into uh, this this sort of ratio right there where uh, I think we wicked down into here, which is why I had it kind of like this right here. Again, 11,742 is going to be that number. Um, we had some wicking down on uh, one of the other ones. So it, it looks a little different. You can see it that way. But, uh, you know, this gives you kind of an idea of what the price is doing. Um, also, you can see the top burners. 
and and it'll tell you exactly what it is it gives you an explanation of what luna classic is i mean guys this is a vast ecosystem it even tells you where you can buy a lump all you have to do is click over here uh and it, it will tell you you can go to mexc global weeks bing x kucoin bitget gate.io bybit blowfin marge x bitfinex bitmart poloniex crypto.com well crypto.com is no longer there uh, they they went ahead and, and deceived us you know and and we should never forget that by the way but all of the, all of the stuff that you need is right there in front of you. All you have to do is pop in, use lunkmetrics.com, go there, start looking around, use lunk-.com, start looking around. You will find out a lot of information. Researching crypto is so important. Guys, go to cryptonomy.finance slash research today and learn more about AI, DAOs, DeFi, gaming, layer one or layer two, uh, memes, gaming, nfts web3 whatever you need to know exploring meme coin trends all the information is available to you now make sure you sign up as a vip or a pro member looking at my fixed deposits guys you can see right now i just put in another three eth that i'm holding until april 5 of 2025 let me show you the details here so at the end of this my scheduled interest is going to be 3.23 ethereum so i'm running three ethereum for letting them hold on to it for one year as a staking process I anticipate a fantastic payout from this. But guys, the big money is made over here on the launch pool. Make sure that you're checking it out. I'm a bronze member. Remember, I put in about 0.48 Bitcoin with an expected rate of return of 1 to 5x. I'm taking a risk here. If I only get a 1x, I, you know, I think I'll still be fine. But uh, as you can see right now, I've already accumulated 83,691 USDT for my efforts so far. How much Bitcoin is that? It's quite a bit. Go to cryptonomy.finance today and earn for yourself in one big space. Now, as far as Commonwealth goes, I haven't been able to access Commonwealth. I'm not installing it. To me, that sounds like it got hacked more than anything else. I'm not installing anything on my computer for Commonwealth. So, you know, I might be out of, of Commonwealth at this point. I might do it on my phone or something like that. Different experience. But for right now, uh, I'm just not comfortable. Um, uh, I, I, you know, so um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Certainly go check these out. Don't forget Frag. Don't forget um, uh, Teratritium. Don't forget Food. Don't forget all these other ones. Go check them out. There's a vast ecosystem. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I know I got a little wordy and a little bit time consuming here with you, uh, but I want to make sure you get kind of a full gasp, get a full gasp, a, a full idea of everything that's going on in this ecosystem. So um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure that you share this with everybody. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.